morning. We're doing something a lot different today. Bit of a rush decision on my part this morning where I got up at 8 o'clock, sorry it wasn't raining, got up, splash of water on the face and got here. We're at Everill Park, Everill Country Park, uh, and and what I'm looking for is, I'm, I'm going back to basics in a way. I've got my camera with me, 6D, one lens, which is a 40mm pancake, 2.8, and my drone. And a beanbag for stability, and also a gorilla pod type thing. And I'm just looking for basic shots, really. Just trying to get back to just looking at nature and seeing what could be a good shot and also doing a recce. I've been watching a lot of either, it's either Simon or Steve Baxter, I believe it is, who does, does woodland shots. And uh, I've never done anything, but it's intrigued me, so I'm going to go and see what the woodland like here, see if I could get anything, or maybe just check it for, for future visits. Because the light's not great, we've got an overcast day. Bits of blue skies are coming through. Uh, sunset these days, sorry, sunrise these days is about six half six, so nowhere near that. We're just just having a walk out really and seeing what we can find. There's a waterfall at the end of this little path canal where you get fishermen and people along those lines. The only people out this morning really are dog walkers, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see what we get, see what we find. May not get any pictures, but at least I'm out and about in the morning, get the legs moving, get the drone up. Uh, it's only three quarters full of battery, so I'll get a couple of minutes worth anyway. Uh, but yeah, it's clear, crystal clear. It's a very, if you look at the water, there's no movement more or less whatsoever. Uh, yeah. No. Go in Silence in Wonderland territory. But yeah, we'll, we'll see what we can find and then, uh, yeah, see you in a bit. got the drone out ready as you can see a little worried about these power cables here uh, should be all right I just want to go up get a picture there's a waterfall there and then a view of that way uh, the GoPro for about it's corrupt so I'm having to reinstall it again uh, I'm only on H plus so it's taken about six minutes don't know if you can see that uh, halfway through it now and then hopefully it'll work what happens, and I don't know if it happens to anyone, when I turn it on, the DJ GoPro goes really large. It's the second time it's happened to me. Uh, yeah, I just don't know. Like I said, I've only got about three quarters of a battery on the drone because I forgot to charge it, but I charged it a bit in the car. So I just want to get up, one shot there, fly a bit down that way into the gap if you can see it, and then just get a picture that way. Uh, if I can, I don't know, maybe a panel. I've never tried a panel with it. We'll have a look. But if not, then what we're going to do is we're going to walk across the bridge here. See what's it like shooting down at the waterfall, so much water's going over it. If not, then we're going to go into this woodland and see, see about getting some wooded shots. But we'll see how it goes. So see you in there. Okay, so I couldn't get my app to work. I don't know what it is. It's just saying on uh, resolution, unknown, and uh, the DJI app looks massive and then goes down. Reinstalled it installed it about three four times still not the same right now though i'm at the waterfall i've got a couple of different panels from that bridge over there i've done a portrait one four across two up and then i've done a landscape one two across two up and then i'm at this bit now uh, i don't know if it's going to be a shot but i quite like it i uh, don't know if you can see here you've got this obviously leading line hopefully going into the middle you've got these trees here I don't know if they're going to be moving too much. Don't like that branch, but I might be able to cop that out. But I just like it, the green, the light, hitting it, there's some dark, there's, there's just... And I don't know if it's just me, I don't know if it's going to work. I'm going to do a... 
of what we're going to do. Yeah, I'm going to do a HDR type thing, so stitch free together, because the white of the foam is just, it's blowing out, so going to have to do that. Uh, hopefully getting some good reflection here, if you can see the tree, but would have liked a bit of a, a bit more, but as I say, I've already come out with this set up, so that's my uh, little 40mm pancake lens. Camera looks tiny with it on. Hopefully it comes out. This is the uh, Gorilla Pod, courtesy of Brian, may I add. Uh, got my little strap, so uh, when I was on there, it was constantly on, because I didn't want it falling off. Got my little lens cloth. Yeah, that's it. A little gutted the uh, drone didn't work. If I get some signal, I might post it on the DJI 3 standards only, see what they say. Try and download it again with decent, uh, decent signal. But yeah, we're going to go into the woodlands next to see what it's all about. And then we'll go from there. So see you in a bit. Okay, so I walked up to the woodlands. Uh, oh, the lower, sorry. I walked up to the woodlands. Lo and behold, I got 4G. Downloaded the app from 4G rather than H plus, and it worked. So I've come back to the bench I was on before, just near the waterfall on the woodland. Got my drone out. Uh, no one was around. There was a couple of people walking, but no one came and bothered me, which was good. So got a couple of shots. Got a couple of video. I'm, not, I'm still not sure whether I'm doing the photography bit right because I've, I've not got it to to take pictures. I've got it for filler shots and just see where I am and some panels and like follow me and things like that. So the photography side of it's new to me. Uh, one of my mates, Brian, he, he does a lot of photography with his P3 and then he got the P4 Pro Plus. Uh, and his, his, looks, his looks cracking. Mine look, sometimes it can look a bit blurry, sometimes it can't. So I don't know whether that's just stability or not. But yeah, we'll we'll see how it goes. So I'm more or less done now because I spent a lot of the time doing the drone before. And we're gonna walk that way and see. Yeah, we're gonna walk that way and see see what's down that the way we came. Uh, just stop recording so a family could walk through. So there's a bit of a judder. That'll be why. Uh, there's a bridge down there but that just goes over the water. Before on the way up, at night, well about half eight. It's now quarter to ten. Uh, you got good reflection, but I just wanted to get up here quickly, get the drone out before anyone. But there wasn't. So we'll see how it goes. I've only got half an hour left on the car, so that's why I'm heading back and not going deeper in the woods. I tried some. I think it's called ICM movement and I've got I believe one good shot let's see if I can find it uh, off 
I don't know if it's good for that type of thing, but I quite like it. I've got a couple of bad shots, so I don't know if you can see it. So these are the ones I did. Uh, if, you can, if you can't see it, you won't add it. That I like, and that one. I really like that one. Uh, first time I've tried it, really, that's not been in my flat, so I'm intrigued to see what people think. I'm going to put on a few forums and a few pictures and go from there. So, yeah, we'll head back. If I get the camera out again, I'm just going to strap it to my wrist. If I take it, I'll go back. If not, that'll probably it now. So, uh, yeah, short but sweet. Not what I wanted today, but I got some all right things, I hope. We'll put them through. If they're any good, I'll put them at the end and we'll go from there. So, see you in a bit. I have noticed being somewhere like here and peaceful. People are so polite. Uh, you don't get this in the city where you walk past someone and just go, right, morning, and then carry on walking. But it's acceptable in the countryside. Now, I've grown up doing caravanning, so people used to do it on the caravans or site all the time. And it, it just baffles me like, same two people would pass each other in the city centre, not part of an eyelid. But when you're walking on the country path, you say hello. Hmm, strange. Okay, so I finished at Ethereal Park. Didn't actually do what I set out to do, which was get in depth in the woodland, try and see if I could get any views, any shots, <coughs> sorry, any trees along those lines. What I did instead was I had a little walk, messed around with a drone, then walked up to the woodlands, could see that there was plenty to get in depth, look, get in there, but then I was running out of time. And by that time I had got 4G in the wood, but I didn't in the open. And I downloaded the app for me, uh, Drone and It Works, so I thought, let's get the flying bit done, so I can use it on other videos. While it was quiet, let's get that done, and get some photos from the air. Uh, then tried some ICM, I believe it's called, erratic camera movement photos. Uh, some look good, I've got two or three, which I'm impressed with. For me first go, I'm very impressed with, uh, but we'll see what other people think. Uh, drones, apps, it's worrying. I need to look into it a bit to see what's doing it. But all together, it's a good morning. going to go back now, it's quarter past ten, get there for about half ten, quarter to eleven, get some bites to eat with the missus, and maybe, I might even uh, charge the drone back up and, and just go somewhere with her this afternoon, because it's a nice day. It's cloudy, but it's warm, so... Yeah, so for this one, unless I do some recording at the next place that if I go out with the missus, that's it for now. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.